Welcome to Books in Sum, your go-to for bite-sized book summaries. Good Boundaries and Goodbyes by Lisa Turquist. This book discusses the importance of setting good boundaries in order to protect our identity and set our relationships up for success. It also discusses the right and wrong ways to set these boundaries, the role of consequences, and how to know when it's time to say goodbye. Lisa Turquist emphasizes the importance of protecting our identity and seeing ourselves as being just as sufficient for God's love as other people are, and encourages Christians to build their relationship with God by spending time working on themselves. Finally, she emphasizes that achieving better relationships isn't the finish line of a well-run race, but rather an ongoing process. The most important details in this book are that a damaging relationship is when one party refuses to work on resolving their dysfunctions, and that setting boundaries is all about access. This means that the amount of access someone has should be directly commensurate to the level of responsibility they display. Examples of this include Lisa, who asked guests to keep the floodlights on for the hot water heater to work, and Adam and Eve, who had unlimited access to God, but when they disobeyed, they showed a lack of responsibility that required a reduction in access. Setting boundaries is important because it doesn't mean refusing to forgive someone or cutting off love, but it is about the level of access you give someone to your heart. For example, if you give your child your credit card for gas, you have extended some access to them likely due to them earning your trust. But if your child then takes that credit card and goes on a shopping spree, they have shown themselves to be irresponsible and you have lost trust. Boundaries are difficult to set for many reasons, such as being a good Christian, wanting to be seen as a good person, or being afraid of being alone. To understand what a good boundary, it is important to consider what it isn't. Boundaries are not a way to perfect someone enforce judgment on someone, or punish someone, and they should not be done out of resentment or passive aggression. They are there to protect one's identity, prevent more damage, and reduce or eliminate further damage to the relationship. Boundaries should also have consequences, not threats. When dealing with someone who isn't respectful of your boundary, it is important to remember that a consequence is not a threat, a punishment, or an ultimatum. A consequence must be clearly stated and firmly adhered to. And if you fail to follow through on the consequence, the other person may accuse you of being hard-hearted, of making threats or ultimatums, or of taking things too seriously. Christians are skilled at looking to themselves as the cause of any problems, and they often want to be seen as good people to the point that they'll sacrifice themselves to control how others perceive them. It is important to take those feelings to God, pray on them, and then return to the conversation with your boundaries firmly in place. A person who's growing, maturing, and wants to be in a relationship with you will respect the boundaries by changing their behavior, and if they don't, it may be time to consider a goodbye. Remember, your relationship with God isn't unconditional, and unless you follow Him, you won't live in eternity with Him. Goodbyes can be for a season or forever, and Romans 12:18 says to live peaceably with all. When a relationship moves from difficult to destructive, it's time to say goodbye. To say a godly goodbye, you should do it without resentment, with compassion, with forgiveness, and without bitterness. Boundaries and goodbyes aren't easy, but they're your responsibility. Remember who you are both to yourself and to God. Go to Him in these times, feel your way through your grief, and then continue on with the boundaries you need to continue forward better than before. If the time comes that the boundaries are no longer enough, understand that goodbyes are a part of life. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.